shit is gonna get real. But everybody, listen up, it's ridiculous. Every single time. It is still kind of funny, isn't it? How are we doing, everybody, now that we're read in and ready to go? Yes? Now we're ready for stuff. You know, every week I realize we're going to get letters from somebody. It might be next door. It might be any number of the organizations we make fun of. And herein is where I have to confess that I may have brought some trouble upon our heads. I know this comes as quite the shock for you, but I did a bad thing. Well, funny you should ask. You see, as you know, if you, if you contact the Circus Freaks or the open stage, you, you, one of the myriad of people you will find sitting behind the desk in the dark lair is me. And that means whenever someone is looking for us, they call me. So that's kind of nice. A little pounding on the ego sometimes when somebody calls me up and goes, you guys are awesome. Can I talk to somebody else in our troupe? Yes, here you go. It's always monkey. Always, always. It's always a girl and it's always monkey. It's true. I get these, I just forward them along. I'm not, I'm not getting into it. But I got a call from, <clears throat> I really wish the camera was off. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Should I tell you? Yes. Okay, I got a call from America's Got Talent. And they said to me, we would like you, and I assumed royal you. And I'm like, no, 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 thank you, you know, send us the information, we'll pass it along. They said, no, 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 we want you to be on the show. They actually called me, they saw some videos of me as a performer, and I said no. I said no. And then it happened. Because that, I mean, you make a decision that's good for you personally. I have nothing against them. No, I'm lying. I have lots of things against them. I'm going to detail them now. Because you see, I was going to get off the phone. Thank you. Goodbye. But I can't lie. I can't go, I'll think about it and hang up. I go, no. They go, why? Is it the contracts? I, I, we understand some performers don't like that. We're going to fix that. I said, no, it's not the contracts. Why is it? And I said, do you really want to know? Yeah! And I said, I'm fundamentally and ideologically opposed to everything you do because I think you celebrate failure rather than seeing it as a learning tool. And I'm really bothered by the fact that you do that. <gasps> and you didn't let Prince Poppycock make it all the way to the end. <laughs> so in that moment, I realized, one, I was never going to be on America's Got Talent. And there's probably my picture in their office now under the words, Dick. <laughs> but I felt really good about the fact that I, I didn't feel like I needed to prove anything I just other than I should not be doing that. I should be taking care of what we're doing here because going on the road would be pointless, especially if it's to go on the road to get made fun of. It's not what I'm about. Have you seen this place? So I went and did that and then I realized I drank my own Kool-Aid. The moment I realized that is worthy of note because I realized it while standing at SMU about to give a talk about community where I spent an hour in SMU's um, innovation gym talking on behalf of Idea Engine, which is La Marquise de Nuit's group, where I talked about you guys for like an hour and how awesome all the stuff we're doing is. And at that moment, drinking my Kool-Aid, when I realized I was standing in SMU's basement, it's really cool, they've got robots and stuff. You should go. It's really awesome. But I felt really good about what we're doing here. And if ever there was Kool-Aid I was gonna drink, it was gonna be this Kool-Aid, the one I can get at the punch bowl that's full of vodka. <laughs> right here at the open stage every week. Though it did cross my mind to go. I did tell them while I was on the phone that I would be passing along whatever information they sent to me. I do know that the auditions are now publicly available online and they are in San Antonio, which is a short drive, and they are specifically looking for physical performers. So if you feel like packing your kit bag and taking a trip, I have now officially passed the information that Lord knows they're not gonna send me. Thank you. Well, thank you, you're welcome. I've done that job, we're good. All right, so enough of that. How about we focus on the stuff that's here? <laughs> 